The more I get people to train or activate their core, the more I realize it's actually the language that we use that's being misinterpreted to our clients. So today we're going to be refining the way we look at the core by doing one simple exercise. And I hope this helps you activate the core better than you ever did. So one of my favorite ways to activate the core is to simply be in the supine position and bring the knees up to the chest. Now there's a huge difference in simply just lifting the knees up towards the chest or utilizing your core muscles to engage and utilize that to bring the knees up. So I'm gonna change my language here a little bit. So I want you to just try this out a few times. Bring your knees up to the chest, do that about five times, and I want you to pay attention to what muscles you feel engaging. Okay, and many of the times you might feel like the top part of the core or the ribs are engaging or sometimes you'll feel the hip or other times you feel absolutely nothing. All those three is totally fine, but I don't feel like it's sequencing the right muscles to do the stuff that it's supposed to do. And in that position, if we're simply always using the hips and the lower back and the top of the core to engage, essentially you're just fatiguing out the hip flexors, the lower back and the top core muscles but we want to be able to anchor down to the whole lower core muscles, the pelvic floor, the transverse abdominis, internal obliques, and all of that in order to take the brunt of the force because this is closer to the center of gravity within our body. So try this out. What you're going to do is first take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, I want you to think that you're flattening the ribs into the body. And the more you exhale until you have almost zero air left, the ribs almost like pin into your body, and the more you can flatten that and tuck your pelvis under you, it's almost like a scared puppy where their tailbone is tucking under and you're flattening the ribs, you should feel the core muscles start engaging more. Now take another breath, keep the engagement, and then exhale, push more air down into the low belly and utilize that exhale to lift the legs up towards the chest. Does that feel different? If it feels different, perfect. Basically, you're just using the front deep core muscles to lift the legs, to flex the hip, instead of using the hip flexors to flex. That's different. So from here, take a deep breath in, exhale, flatten the ribs into the body. You still want to keep exhaling and utilize the deep core muscles to lower the legs down towards the ground. So that should feel completely different than simply just lifting the legs up and down or doing it slowly versus having that intent to flatten the ribs, exhale, lift the tailbone off the ground, Keep pushing air down into the low belly and utilize that downward exhale to bring the knees up. Reset the breath at the top as in breathe in again. Exhale, re-flatten the ribs, push down into the low belly and utilize that to lower the legs down to the ground. And you might notice that your head wants to leave, your neck is cramped up, you're getting super tight over here. It just means that you're relying on your neck muscles to activate the core. So if that's the case and you don't have enough mobility with the neck, you can put a pillow underneath the neck to reduce the amount of tension in your back and that might help you engage this a little bit better. Now one thing I want to mention is that I don't want you to think that you're bracing so hard that this can't even move. The better you get at it, the more you can actually just keep that position and talk and breathe and move very, very freely and have full control of what those deep belly muscles are supposed to do without having to hold your breath or, or brace or harden or everything. It becomes like this very, very controlled little tautness, maybe 10 or 20% tautness in that area. And that's where you can truly learn to articulate and move your body around that small space over here because it's stable. This is always there to essentially ground you so that you can move around that area instead of having to move around your back and your hips for all of the other stuff that you're trying to do. I don't know if that made sense. That is how I typically interpret and teach how to fire up the core muscles. It takes a long time to keep practicing and slowly finding that engagement down over here. The better you get at it, I can guarantee you other stuff starts firing up so well. So please let me know if something felt different when you did that. If it was really, really hard for you to engage that, let me know as well so I can make another video on how to do that a little bit better probably. I was just throwing this out there to see like how people respond. So now if you have any other questions or concerns, please hit me in the comment below and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. My name is Andy Shea from Moon Marine Born. If you haven't hit subscribe already, please kick that button and click that like button if you felt this give you some value. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.